Hello, um, I am Major General Van McCarty, the Adjutant General of the great state of South Carolina. Now I'd like to take a few minutes here to talk with you about the COVID vaccination mandate. First of all, I'd like to say, tell you to all of our soldiers and airmen and their families, thank you for your service to this great state and to this, this great nation. It doesn't go unnoticed that what you do is important for not only the citizens of the great state of South Carolina, but to the citizens of this great nation. We are a very busy National Guard, and at this point in time, I do not anticipate what we're doing to become any less busy. And as always, it is important for the National Guard here in South Carolina to be strong both in strength and in readiness. To that degree, I want to thank all of our soldiers and airmen who have already taken the COVID vaccine. And I would like to ask those who have not to ensure that you uh, have an opportunity to understand what the requirements are and if you have any questions as to issues or concerns that you raise those to your chain of command. I issued a letter on February the 9th that went, was posted on the skip page and was sent out to all the addresses that we have of our National Guard members. I would ask that you would take the time to read that letter, make your decision based upon good information. One thing I do want to stress that if you have not yet made a decision on taking the vaccine or not, and you're considering uh, applying for either a medical or a religious exemption, I would encourage you to do so and do so quickly. We have a deadline of April the 4th that is coming up rather quickly. And I wanna make sure that if that is something you're considering, that we have all the documentation in that packet that would be necessary for it to be submitted up through channels for consideration for either to be approved or denied. So like anything else we do at life, we know that having good information is important. And this situation here is no different. And when we are an organization that is really built about around strength and medical readiness and being able to get the job done, this is a factor that impacts medical readiness. So again, I would encourage all who have not to consider taking the vaccine and to make sure that you make an informed decision. And again, for those who have already done so, thank you. I think it's important for the welfare, not only of the force, but to our families and to our friends and those that we are in contact with on a day-to-day -day basis. I look forward to seeing our servicemen and women, both in the Army and Air Guard, at training and drills, and even when we send them off to do the jobs that we're asked to do, I'm always excited to be able to say these are the finest young men and women that serve this nation and they're a part of the South Carolina National Guard. Thank you. May God bless you, your families, this great state, and this great nation. See you on the high ground.